Hello everyone, my name is Bruce and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be checking out this RC Mercy Largo SV. So this is something that I wouldn't normally buy, but since I've gotten a lot of love for the Mercy Largo recently, I thought, hmm, this is pretty cool. I think it might be a good car to get for my collection, but I almost completely forgot that this thing had an RC feature, so it's not just a display car, it can roll around too with a remote control, so that's enough of me talking, let's get straight into the review. Alright, so first I quickly want to state that this does use three AA batteries, I'm pretty sure, if we pop, I guess what you can call the hood, because this is what powers the car. You can see we have three AA batteries in there, this is what powers the car, and you don't need any batteries to go on the remote, so let's get right on to some racing everyone, this is going to be loads of fun. If, if I can close this, yeah, there we go, so let's get right into it. So the controller that comes with this car is ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously simple, forward, backwards, then we have left and right, so there's not much to it, no insane drifting features but you can make it drift I'll show you off that in a second and here's my cat hey buddy but <laughs> anyway guys let's get on to some insane racing all right so we have the bottom of the car here make sure we have the switch so it's turned on and when we're done with it always make sure you turn it off but for now it's going to be on let's chuck this on the ground oh you can't even see where I put it but you'll see it in a second Oh, my cat's scared of it. So after using this for a bit, I did find that you can sort of do some power sliding. So I'm going to show that off, show that off really quickly. <laughs> now one thing I want to mention if you're going to get one of these make sure there's no sand around like I have here because it gets stuck in the wheels and Mm, yeah, it gets a bit of a pain to clean out, but I'll show you what happens right now. It often gets stuck in the sand, so here he comes now. There it is right there. Pushing forward, but it's not coming out. Try reversing, yeah, nothing happens, so. So just, yeah, make sure there's no sand in your backyard, because then it will eventually just get stuck. Oh, oh, I guess, no. We're out of the sand trap, finally, but... If we reverse back in. Alright, surprisingly it's still not completely stuck, but you see what I mean, it eventually just completely... Yeah, there we go, it's stuck here. Right. So it's not moving anywhere now, so just make sure that you don't get any sand in it. And in the occasion where you do get sand in it, all you've got to do is put it upside down like this. Grab the remote. Forward. Backwards. And all I do is just shake it up a bit, make sure none of the sand has gone inside, and if it does, just it will eventually get out. So all you're gonna do is this, shake it up a bit, like I don't know, maybe it's like a Coca-Cola, and you want to make it like really fizzy and make it explode or something. But just do this while pressing the forwards and backwards buttons is what I found. But this is basically my first time with an RC car, so if that's something bad to do, please comment below. But that's what I've found from my experiences. Now, because of the low profile of this car, it's going to definitely sneak under some fences, as we see here. I don't know if you're ready, but... There, it's gone straight under the fence and onto the driveway. really hope my mum doesn't come in now, because she just went shopping, but... Here it comes. It's coming back at a good speed. And there it is, right back where we started. So, just make sure when you have it, definitely keep an eye on it, because... Who knows where it will go, honestly. So, you see... It just keeps on going and going. I want to see how far it goes, actually. The guy's got some range on it. Okay, and then it's out of range now. I'll show you where it landed, though. So we were standing right there, and it landed up. Right here. So you can see it's 
got some range on it. So if we bring this back here, you can see it still looks basically the same. No scratches or anything, but I guess what, what we can do now is take it on some jumps. I don't know if it's the best thing to do, but considering how cheap it was, you may as well. And, oh, hey. Hey, buddy. And one thing I forgot to mention is this does have working headlights in real life. Let me show these off really quickly. So if I press forward, those will turn on and move it to the back. You can't see it as well. It works better in the night, but you can... Well, I can't even see them turning on, but I was trying it out last night and they definitely did work. I wonder if you can do some burnouts in this too. If we... Okay, yeah, that's not a very good idea, but... Let's get on to some stunting, everyone. This will be fun. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> looks like we got a bit of a crash there. Alright, going for take two now. Yeah, I reckon that's the best we're going to do for this one. Alright, some of you may think I've gone a bit too far for this jump, but... I don't know, I reckon it's worth a try. We've got a four stair gap, we'll see how this goes. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again, I suppose. So the Merced Lago landed, but it can't move. Uh, Let's just, we're going to have to cheat this one. I don't want to damage the car anymore, but I think that's about it for today's video, guys. So if you enjoyed, be sure to click the like button, share it, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you all next time. So overall, I can say I'm very happy with this purchase. Only 20 bucks for this RC car that does, it goes around, but it <clears throat> does go a bit fast, but not too fast, but considering I only paid 20 bucks for it, then good deal. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Should have comment below what you think of this Mercer Lager, and I'll see you all next time.